Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So what I did is um, I added a playlist uh, to my YouTube channel. Now this will be probably a new uh, session or you know, um, basically a new uh, way for the channel to proceed. So it will be part of the regular videos that you see every day or two days. Uh, this will also be part of it. What this will be is it's a segment where I'll just, you know, pick and snatch uh, motor news or any news from different uh, channels, I would say, or websites and share with you guys. So it will be just a, you know, a minute or two long video, just sharing if I hear something or something's coming up. It won't be related 100% to the Honda Goldwing, um, but it will be around any other motorcycles that come up, you know, so I hope you all enjoy it. So it could be Ducati, could be, uh, you know, uh, Honda, could be an anything else. Yeah, even uh, Harley Davidson. So um, any news that I hear around and let's start uh, today's segment. So what I got here is I stumbled upon this um, uh, news actually just yesterday uh, and it's been a couple of months it's been out. It's the 2021 uh, Trail 125 and I absolutely, you know, it, it just caught my attention and I was like, uh, wow, I need to read more about it. And turns out that it's been out for a couple of months in Japan and uh, Indonesia and other parts. And there are some YouTube videos as well that you can go ahead and watch it. And basically this 125 uh, ABS it's a newer one of the Trail 90 and 110, which was there before. I don't know how many of you remember that, but, and it's also part of the Mini Moto family. So, you know, part of the Groom, Monkey, uh, the Honda Groom and Monkey. Uh, this is the next addition to that. Very interesting, you know, I, I, I really like the fact that it's a, it's a dual purpose, you know, uh, on-road and off-road kind of motorcycle and kind of bringing the history back. I like the retro look to it, you know, uh, going down if you see here, yeah. So, you know, I love the retro look. Uh, it's it's very, very nice. In fact, there's a very nice video. If you go and watch on YouTube, he's done some off-roading on it and absolutely looks fine. So I know it's coming to US and uh, base price is MSRP uh, 3,899 USD plus I think destination charges, but looks like an interesting bike. And you know, uh, I, I thought, why not? Yeah, I would love to see this in Canada, but I doubt that it would probably uh, come. So it has a four-speed semi-automatic transmission, which really got me, you know, kind of, wow, oh, wow. You know, I like that retro, uh, kind of the old, uh, bringing back the old into the new, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a good mix. I just don't know how much the 125cc really suits our markets um, here in Canada and US, you know. Uh, we, we got some big highways to, to ride on. So uh, if it was Europe or Asia, I'm, I'm sure this will be a pretty successful bike in uh, Indonesia and from what I can see from the videos, but I just don't know how it will be here. And then, yeah. And here's the brochure. So I downloaded the brochure because I really like the bike. Something I might look into, you know, I always like these bikes and then collect the brochures. The tank seems to be a pretty small. It's 1.4 gallon with a 0.3 reserve. So not much you can do with the on-road, off-road, the way they're putting it out there. Uh, probably you need to carry extra tank. I would say, you know, this is like an another off-road kind of thing or you know if you have a trailer you just put it on your trailer take it to the destination ride around and uh, go from there but uh, thank you so much for watching my first episode i hope you guys enjoyed it feel free to write in the comments below if uh, this is something you would like to see more and uh, you know i'll definitely be posting more videos till next time ride safe take care and i'll talk to you soon